G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So jumping straight into Go Battle League, and as you can see, I'm currently ace ranked at 2300. So probably sitting roughly where a lot of uh, a lot of you are. So hopefully these battles will be useful for you. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, um, and I'm also linked to a playlist of my other battles this season. You can check those out as well if you want. But with that being said, we're going to uh, jump in and uh, get some battles started. So we've got um, two leagues open, Master League and Hisui Cup, and we're going to jump into the Hisui Cup, which is 1500 CP limits and whatever, um, but the Pokemon that I'm going to be running is Gastrodon with Mud Slap, Body Slam and Earth Power, Frostlass with Powder Snow, Avalanche and Shadow Ball, and a Bomber Snow with Powder Snow, Weather Ball and energy ball uh, so I have got a uh, my video of my first matches in this and I ran a very unique team uh, this one's probably a bit more standard I guess um, we'll see how we go so I really don't want to see a fire type in the back um, and I'm hoping that I can bait out any of the Lucario if I swap in Frostlass so let's see how we go so on the lead shadow so we've got a shallow Hippowoden um, the shadows seem to be really popular um, so Hippowoden was actually using a fire type fast move so I probably could have swapped in my Abomber Snow here but my thinking was um they could bait with um sludge bomb on the toxicroak whereas they can't bait with a move for my a bomber snow uh, for my frost last so um they decide to no shield that up which is fine by me um, i'm gonna let that uh, well they're gonna let it go and then they'll come in with the hippo woden um and uh, i look to get to the charge move and i just get to the avalanche before it fast move farms me down which is fine as long as i maintain switch and do not let the uh Hippo Woden match up against my Abomber Snow, I should be fine here. So I'm going to let the countdown clock go for a little bit just so I can uh, swap out when I need to. And then going to come in with the uh, Gastrodon here. So they're not swapping out. And to be honest, I don't know what move this thing has. So I'm going to shield it up because it is a shadow and it could be doing a lot of damage. It's the Earth Power. So yeah, that would have done a lot of damage. Uh, so they decide to swap this out and they come in with the Drift. Blim. So instantly, don't want to waste any energy on this thing. I'm going to come in with my bomb snow here, and I'm going to let this go. If it is the icy wind, which it is, it's going to be doing neutral damage. So grass typing obviously going to be super effective, but because it's also got the uh, the ice typing itself, it's going to resist that damage. So neutral damage overall, and then I'm going to be throwing my own icy weather balls because obviously, being a flying type, they're going to be super effective. Unfortunately, they're able to get to another charge move, and I'm actually going to going to uh, shield this one up and uh, then I'm going to over farm just a little bit of extra energy here and uh, see how we go so I'm hoping this takes it out but I'm being double debuff now so it's unlikely um, I'm just hoping it does enough damage that it won't oh that's close um, they will have to throw energy here so fine with me um, I am expecting to swap out and snipe with the Hippo Woden um, so I need to be throwing this um, these be on point and throw this weather ball when they come out but they swapped and sniped and i mean it is what it is i knew that was going to happen but it doesn't really matter to be completely honest i have enough energy on uh, my gastrodon to be able to take it out um one body slam is enough and then out comes the drift blim obviously this is going to be doing absolutely no damage to it because of the ghost typing and a normal type move but because it's got no health itself um yeah it's going to be able to take it out and that is game number one so pretty good game number one um didn't play perfectly they got the snipe and i knew that they were going to but it's just really hard to avoid that um so yeah managed to still win so happy days and we'll jump into the next one and uh, let's see what we get so like i was saying i was expecting to get uh lucarios and hopefully if i swap in my frost last the lucario will come in on that because they won't want to see my gastrodon um, so they've instantly swapped into their own um, frostlass here which is uh, yeah interesting so it's making me think what do I do here what do I do here um, so what I 
probably should have done is well shield that up to start with um, because that did not uh, that absolutely went to town on it so here the question is are they throwing avalanche or are they throwing shadow ball if they're throwing avalanche this is bad and it is the avalanche so bad um, but I mean it is what it is at this point I'm gonna throw my own and hope to grab a shield let's see will they shield this up and they do so at least i grabbed the shield in uh, reverse but it's really not looking good um i don't have very good matchups here so going to be throwing straight into uh the avalanche and hopefully i get another shield i don't get a shield and it doesn't do enough oh that's just brutal one hp um yeah brutal absolutely brutal shadow ball comes through oh and it takes me out um, so I'm going to come in and farm down with the uh, Gastrodon and we'll see what comes in next. So if they come in with the uh, Empoleon, I will look to throw the uh, Earth Power straight away and we'll see if they want to shield this up. So um, it'll be interesting to see if they do want... Oh, they no shield it. That is brutal. And in the back, they've got a Toxicroak. So this isn't over because obviously they're going to be... Well, they've got a shield and they've also got um, Toxicroak who's going to be super effective. Fast moves against the Abomber Snow. So the question here is, can I do enough damage? Oh... Uh, I fully expect this to be a mud bomb, but that will be enough, I think, at this range to take me out. So I'm going to shield this up and we'll see how much my... Um, yeah, so we'll see how much damage the uh, weather ball does, and it doesn't do enough. They're going to be able to farm me down and instantly throw, aren't they? Do I have enough energy myself? No, they are going to be able to throw, and this mud bomb is going to be doing enough damage to take me out here, I think. Uh, let's find out. Uh, yeah, it is. So there, I did misplay that a bit. I should have... Um, yeah, I'm just thinking of what the play, the better play was there. And, and definitely it was to shield up the... Um, well, shield up the frost last there on the second one. Um, obviously, they no shielded um, an earth power, so it really was their match to win. Um, so, yeah, into the next one. And we've got the Gastrodon mirror match. So you're going to see these things absolutely everywhere. So um, And that's because of its ground typing and how good uh, Lucario is. So going to shield this first one up. I'm hoping for an Earth Power and it's just the Body Slam. So that's brutal. Uh, but fine, going to have to let it go and uh, unnecessarily shield it up. So I'm going to throw my own Body Slam here and we'll see what they want to do. So they're going to let that go, which is fine. And I did try to get to another one. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to both of them before they got their Body Slam off. And uh, But looking at the health I knew that I was going to survive that so I'll throw my own body slam and uh, hopefully uh, they will no shield this as well they do and uh, off it goes so I've just got uh, a little bit of health and out comes the Cresselia so not looking good but it gives me time to think about what I'm going to do here and obviously I'm going to come out with the frost lass here going to no shield this first one if they decide to throw a um, well, they throw a moon blast, so that's going to do uh, a massive chunk of damage, as you can see. And then they swap into the electrode. Um, come out with the bomb of snow. Obviously, it's going to be doing super effective damage, which is absolutely fine by me. Uh, energy ball comes through and just doesn't do too much damage, which is fine. Uh, here, I'm going to over farm energy just a little bit uh, because obviously I want to be able to. Uh, throw moves very very quickly uh, we'll see what happens and we see MP tied and they get to throw first that's brutal I'm gonna have to let this go uh, we'll see what it is it's a wild charge um, and then I've got another yeah so this is brutal I would have really preferred to not kill this thing and get some energy on my frost lass here but I mean 
it is what it is. We've both got a shield and let's see what they want to do. So what I'm going to do is just go straight Shadow Ball here. Um, I don't think that they're going to be able to... I, I just If I bait and they no shield, then I lose. But they no shield the first one. So my thinking was that they wouldn't have enough energy to be able to get to two charge moves um, that will KO me before me. Um, I think they probably would have, to be honest. So again, that was theirs to lose, but I, they, you just don't know. Um, had I thrown the avalanche there, that would have been an absolute uh, uh, boss move. But because I went straight for the shadow ball, um, it uh, ended up costing them the game. So not 100% sure how that would have gone had they shielded that first one up, but I uh, guess we don't have to worry about it because they didn't, and that is a good game. So we'll jump into this next one, and hopefully we can get something good. And it's Frostlass on the lead. I don't really like this, so I'm going to swap straight into my own, and again, really hoping to draw out... Oof. Not drawing out any of the, um, the fighters at the moment, but that's fine. Um, we're going to go straight into the avalanche and they do shield this up. So the question here is, are they going to try and bait me with an aqua tail? Um, I'm just going to no shield and if they crunch me, they, they, they do. Um, and it is the crunch. So that's brutal. Um, and I got the defense debuff, which is unfortunate. And then they're going to throw straight into an aqua tail. At this point, there is no way that I'm shielding this up. Um, because I'm debuffed as well, I might as well just uh, come straight out. So I come in with the gastrodon here and going to be able to look to farm down. Its fast move is going to be doing nothing. Aqua tail is going to do a little bit of damage. Crunch is going to be fairly bad for me. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage, but it doesn't get the uh, defense drop. So that's uh, really, really nice for me. Um, we'll see what comes out. I expect it to be their own frost lass here. And then I'm going to, well, we'll just wait because they're letting this countdown clock come down. And I'm just going to go straight for the Earth Power here. We'll see if they want to shield this up. I'm hoping they don't. Um, if they don't, then I'll be in a much nicer position. Unfortunately, they do shield it up, which is fine. Uh, and then we'll see what they want to do now. And I'm going to swap in and try and uh, catch something, but no. And out comes the Toxicroak. So we've got another Toxicroak here. Uh, I do still have two shields so this will be interesting and they only have one so uh, the question here is are they going to be able to and i get to back to back uh weather balls before they decide to throw their own move and they let it go okay so that's interesting um the question here is, can I get to... No, I can't, so I'm just going to go straight for the weather ball. I would have liked to get to the energy ball, but uh, unfortunately, I am not able to do it. They have no shield here, which is uh, good for me. Uh, I'm going to shield up. They'll probably get to two avalanches. They'll get pretty close to a third, to be completely honest with you. Um, uh, yeah, so there's two. And uh, we've got to be counting for a third. Really need to be uh, better at counting those fast moves, but I mean, it is what it is. And then we'll look to get to the Earth Power, and we're able to get there. So that's going to be a good game right there. So being able to uh, take out the uh, Toxicroak without it throwing a charge move was absolutely spectacular. Um, so we'll jump... Well... So good game right there. And I think that's game number four. So three three wins, one loss so far. Uh, looking pretty good. So there was one, well, the loss was questionable on both my side and the opponent's side. The opponent should have definitely won that by a lot more. But, I mean, it is what it is. So we'll jump into the next one. And we've got a mirror again. So um, I really don't like these mirrors. So I'm going to swap straight out into the Frost Lass and we'll see what, uh, what comes out. So... We've got the um, Stunky, uh, non-shadow variant, and it's uh, got a uh, yeah dark type fast move, which is really unfortunate for me. And the question here is, can I do enough damage to KO? No, I can't. Um, so I'm just going to come straight out with my Gastrodon, and they didn't get a charge move off. So that's absolutely spectacular for me. Um, so they come out with their own again, so we're now mirrored. But 
I have more energy because I needed to use one extra mud shot against actually ooh, do I have more energy or equal energy um, I had to use uh, get a little bit of extra energy when I uh, charged down their last Pokemon so I uh, got that little one energy head start they shield that up so that's perfect for me uh, I'm going to go straight into my second um, body slam here no point messing about I'm just going to look to take this thing out and they double shield it so I'm going to swap into my own uh, Pokemon here so swapping into a, a bomber snow and out comes the shadow um, going to obviously be just throwing straight to ice weather balls here it's going to be doing neutral damage and Drapion does take a bunch of damage from that so I got them down to half health but I definitely haven't used as many uh, fast moves here so they're probably just going to have a slither of health remaining they do unfortunately but I am able to uh, fast move farm them down again before they're able to get a, uh, a move off here so here they're probably they're going to be spamming body slams uh, because of my two shields um, and I'm going to look to get to a uh, a move any move will do and that will be enough to uh, take them out so going to look to and I could go for an energy ball flex but let's not do that that's just a bit rude I did get to the energy but I figured let's just throw um, let's just throw the uh, the weather ball there and uh, take them out and uh, go four and one so good games there able to uh, to win those and I mean there was a couple of questionable moments and this is what happens when you are playing with a team that you're not used to um, there you go four and uh, one um, happy days and we'll see what we get so last uh, time I got a shiny uh, Dialga this time not quite as good um, yeah not quite as good Oof, and it jumped just as the ball got there uh, thankfully hit its toes possibly um, but it stays in so happy days like I said um, if you like the content if you find it useful hit that subscribe button down below if you're not and uh, hopefully I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one and we can uh, try and get some more wins on the board as uh, as you figure out a team that you like uh, you will get better um, just because you know what to swap you have less uh, thinking time when uh, Pokemon swap in against you because you will have seen the matchups before so what I would say is uh, use a team for a little bit and uh, get used to it so you can uh, react quicker to changes in uh, in what's going on in the game but like i said uh, thank you very much for watching hopefully i will uh, see you in the next one bye for now